In December 2013, I started working on Grafana. It was pretty uh, revolutionary at the time, right? It was pretty profound, like nothing like that existed. It's hard to believe that it's been almost a decade since Torkel first launched Grafana. Growing from a small man with a big dream <laughs> to becoming the most popular data visualization software in the world. in democratizing metrics, also the creator of Grafana, Torkel Odegaard. Yeah, so me and Torkel goes back probably 15 years due to different meetups and so in Stockholm. Uh, we did end up working together at our previous place. Swedish eBay, that's how I got to know him. Uh, we're on a team of, I think, uh, four people, four or five. And, and Torkel was on that team. So the story is we were uh, using a, a, a metric system called Graphite, um, but he was very disappointed that like nobody was actually instrumenting the code and it wasn't really being used. Um, and like the dashboarding tools for, for Graphite were really bad. So it was this like barrier to we uh, getting us to use it. It was hard to get other teams to use it. It was hard to get others on the team to to build dashboards themselves. And at the same time, we were started using Kibana for, uh, for logs, which had this great UI. Kibana for Elasticsearch I had really taken off. Like everyone was using it. We were doing CI, CD, and we were checking the results afterwards. And in Kibana, you could see, you could see the logs. So we were looking at logs, but not metrics. It was pretty easy to build dashboards in Kibana. And that kind of gave me this idea to have Kibana query time series data. I wanted to pay homage to Kibana, so, and, and it was focused on graphs. So graph, gra Grafana became, became, uh, became that mix. And when I started searching for the word, uh, there was like almost nothing. A couple of weeks after the first release, I owned the word on, on Google, which was good. He can go very deep into a certain topics and it can sometimes take a very long time but when you see that he has this like urge to solve something he'll keep repeating like trying testing trying testing until it's done so the project literally started when Torkel tried to add functionality to, to Kibana to add graphite support um, and you know elastic search at the time rejected the the pull request so before Christmas holidays Torkel was kind of looking at Kibana's code and application, maybe I can get metrics in here. And then uh, after the Christmas holiday, he came back with a new piece of software he called Grafana. It was that 2014, I think. Uh, Torkel came in and he said, I have this. And uh, he did it like a the, sort of Torkel way where he does a, a demonstration and he's really passionate about it. And it's like, we're going to start doing this. And uh, it was just an instant hit. Uh, we actually had one issue that was ongoing for a couple of months. Torkel had instrumented all the pipelines and then put it under Grafana. And it was like this just like magic aha moment where you just, it was obvious. It was like, oh, it's there. His thesis that uh, the dashboarding was the problem, like was totally right. And once people saw Grafana, uh, like just started using it straight away. Seeing one team be successful with it and put up the TVs on the wall, I think like getting dashboards up on a TV wall was also something that kind of helped it spread around the office and all of a sudden every, every team on, in, in the same floor used it. It came from like nothing to all over the workplace uh, instantly. And it wasn't just for in, um, infrastructure monitoring, we used it for everything. Torkel made that decision very early on that uh, I'm, I'm going to actually support multiple 
databases. Um, but that, that was the start of the big tent. You know, when Torkel kind of forked, you know, um, you know, Cabana and, and was like, okay, I'll build a graphite clone. And very quickly, you know, he ran into that same problem of people saying, oh, I'd love if you added, you know, this data source. And, you know, he said yes, right? And so we started that approach. It was a cultural revolution. Uh, that was, that was like the idea of democratizing metrics, like giving metrics everywhere to anyone at the company. That was such an increase in productivity and people working on the right thing. I think it's important and why I built the Grafana, this concept of democratizing metrics, making it available to more people that may, might not have access to time series databases or metrics in general. It's something I really, really like that concept.